All right, so here are the remnants of my 1987 GT Pro Freestyle Tour. It was the bike my father bought me when I was in high school. Yes, uh, I was in high school in 87. I actually graduated in 1990, a year early, though. Um, so I guess that would put me in the class of 91 normally. Anyway, so this is the bike that he bought me. Um, I remember we went to the bike store and we paid out the nose for it. I remember the mail order catalogs had it for substantially less than the money we paid for it. I think we paid $550, which would probably have bought me a T model if I had mail ordered it. But uh, in any case, I was very grateful to get this bike. And as you can see, um, now it's in pieces. <laughs> so the fact that it's in pieces is actually a good thing because I'm restoring it. So uh, I actually pulled it out of my garage about six weeks ago and decided that I was going to restore it. My parents had it stored um, in their outside shed for years and years and years and years and one time they came up and they got fed up with having it in their shed and they brought it up and it's been sitting in my garage for a few years. So uh, yeah, started to look into restoring it. Got online and found bmxmuseum.com. There's a lot of people restoring BMX bikes there. So uh, I got the idea to do this to it. Um, what I have here is some citric acid powder, which actually sounds a lot more ominous than what it really is. It's literally just citric acid, which comes from lemons and grapefruits and stuff like that, that just pretty much food acid. Um, this is industrial grade acid, or it's really acid powder. Um, mix it with water, which I have over there. I uh, bought five, five pounds of it for about 20 bucks. And this is non-food grade, but you mix it in there and it basically creates a concentrated citric acid solution which I'm then going to put in there. You may be wondering why I have bricks in there. And that's uh, to take up some of the volume, so I don't have to use so much of it. I'm hoping that I have enough of it. I have a five pound bag. We're supposed to be using about eight ounces per gallon. So I'm hoping that I have enough uh, to get it in there. Put everything in there, all my parts. Uh, I am going to have it professionally painted, but I'm going to have it shipped off to do that. I'm hoping that the citric acid will take off a lot of the rust on things like the uh, stem and the stem bolts. Uh, those are some very rare Tech 7 Diacomp levers. If you can believe it or not, that lever and that lever in that condition that you see right now are probably worth about 100 bucks, maybe more. Uh, some of this stuff is just crazy expensive. My wife was actually going to throw this frame and fork and uh, handlebars away and uh, I'm glad she didn't. These are the cranks. You can see they're in pretty bad shape. That's supposed to be chrome. That's covered in rust see a lot of rust parts on my handlebars. They're, they're actually going to be sandblasted before uh, the guy's going to paint it. Paint it. He's including the sandblasting and the price. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get some of the rust out from inside the handlebars and maybe uh, inside the forks and stuff like that. So yeah, never done this before. I'm going to uh, get ready to do this right now. So I'll be back in a little bit once I get all the citric acid solution in there.